acupuncture treatment for hot flashes in men treated with androgen deprivation therapy. How I do it. Acupuncture is over 2,000 years old and is becoming an adjunct to Western medicine. Acupuncture has been used for treatment of pain and medical issues associated with malignancies as well as hot flashes in women. Some centers have started employing acupuncture for the treatment of hot flashes in men treated with androgen deprivation therapy for prostate cancer. The incidence of hot flashes in men treated with ADT may be similar to that in postmenopausal women. Hot flashes have a significant impact on the quality of life after ADT, and most men seek treatment. Oral medications used to treat hot flashes, such as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors and serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, are expensive and have been associated with a number of side effects. A recent randomized controlled trial of venlafaxine versus acupuncture for the treatment of hot flashes after anti-estrogen hormone therapy for breast cancer showed that acupuncture is as effective as drug therapy but without adverse effects. A hot flash may be described as a subjective feeling of heat accompanied by profuse sweating and shivering that may last a few minutes. Patients may experience reddening of the skin of the face, head, and neck secondary to increased skin blood flow during these episodes. These phenomena occur as a result of a decreased set point of the hypothalamic thermoregulatory center and the resultant heat loss mechanisms. This change in set point is likely due to aberrations in endorphin and serotonin levels in the central nervous system. The physiological mechanism of hot flashes in men treated with ADT is similar to menopausal women and women treated with anti-estrogens. Studies of acupuncture's physiological effects have shown that the release of endorphins and serotonin mediate its analgesic effects. It is presumed that acupuncture may help mitigate the effects of sex hormone withdrawal and reduce the frequency and severity of hot flashes in men treated with ADT. All patients undergoing acupuncture therapy should have a biopsy-proven diagnosis of prostate cancer and treated with ADT. Patients should report at least 10 or greater number of hot flashes per day in the moderate to severe range. Patients are asked to keep a hot flash diary to record the number and severity of hot flashes occurring within a 24-hour period. This diary should be reviewed with the patient before each session in order to assess for effectiveness of the acupuncture therapy. Acupuncture should be performed by a physician acupuncturist who is licensed by the state in which he or she practices. Patients should receive acupuncture twice a week for a total of six weeks of treatment. Equipment needed for this procedure include disposable, sterile, serine acupuncture needles, and cool water for cooling the needles. The setup for this procedure includes a traditional acupuncture or massage table in a quiet setting with optional soft music playing in the background. The next set of images demonstrate the placement of acupuncture needles at predefined points. Liver 3 is a sedation point for anxiety, insomnia, and excess heat. Spleen 4 is useful for menstrual and endocrine disorders. Spleen 6 is good for immune and endocrine problems, including insomnia. Kidney 3 stimulates and sedates kidney energy, including urinary frequency, menstrual problems, and sexual dysfunction. Kidney 6 helps urinary problems, sterility, fatigue, and heat dispersion. Lung 7 controls pain and heat and controls excesses of respiratory problem. Master of Heart 6 readjusts emotional symptoms and excess heat. Heart 7 is a strong sedation point to disperse heat, agitation, and emotional disorders. Conception Vessel 2 is a strong point for all genitourinary and gynecologic disorders. Conception Vessel 5 helps abdominal pain, heat dispersion, and urinary retention. The acupuncture needles are typically left in place for 45 minutes and periodically cooled with cold sponges to allow the energy to disperse. 
For more information on this procedure and the acupuncture treatment for men, please see the associated article published in the Canadian Journal of Urology.